So this is what you call a major makeover. <laughs> this raised bed is in such bad shape. The right half is all weeds and the left half is all dried up marigolds. So we are going to transform this. This is the chaff. If you missed that video, be sure and watch that stone grinding cornmeal. This is the chaff from corn and it's loaded with nitrogen and we're going to be adding that to reboot the raised bed along with, with something else. That, oh, azomite, right. Azomite. I think the azomite's in the very bottom. There you go, you're getting to it. This is the mole and vole protector. It's supposed to deter, <laughs> it buzzes. It's supposed to deter moles and voles. And I don't know how well it works to tell you the truth. So everything comes out. Everything? Yeah. All right, I want to make sure.
Is that a bad baby?
everybody, Kay here on my homestead in Tennessee. Well, we have this huge cold front. It's not just hitting Tennessee, it's, it's Illinois, it's Mississippi, it's, it's all over. So it's going to be in single digits, maybe as low as four or five degrees at night coming up. So <laughs> I have all these potatoes that are going bad in the house. You know, they're sprouting and starting to get soft and they're too soft to eat. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna quickly revamp three of the raised beds and two of them are empty and I am planting potatoes. So, take a look, with a little help <laughs> from a big, strong young guy. <laughs> Well, uh, so what happened is the sun went down. <laughs> we didn't get done. So I have decided to only plant the one bed of potatoes. Hey everybody, here's Tiger. The last one to round up. Jack is just gonna grind up one more uh, bag of uh, leaves and put it on the asparagus, which I cut back and cleaned out that bed. I've gotta take her to the garage and I'm gonna sign off. I hope you subscribe to my channel if you're interested in building a sustainable homestead. Here's your gal. I'm gonna show you everything that I'm experiencing, good and bad, and hopefully that's uh, helpful to you or at least interesting. So uh, I'm gonna take the rest of those potatoes back in the house and he's gonna be back next week after uh, it warms back up again and we'll get uh, those in the raised bed. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. I got her in the house and I meant to say that everything that has something living growing in it is covered up Ex and except for the asparagus I am just using the leaf mulch because I cut all the top off and I'm just going to cover it all with leaf mulch and that way it can get the benefit from the snow and the rain. 
and uh, but everything else is covered up, which is a few onions, the garlic, and I've got le um, sorrel, and uh, and then the potatoes that I just planted, and of course the strawberries. So everything's covered. We're all ready. All of my citrus is in the house, as you know, and my tropical plants are in the garage. So I'm ready. <laughs> I guess. Oh, <laughs> and one more thing. I I got the I have three faucets, exterior faucets and spigots and they're all frost free and the hoses are disengaged. So I hope I thought of everything. <laughs> <laughs>